Now let's move on to testing if the data is in the database. So far we've been testing the getting of the data or posting to login and uh, assertion of redirect successful. But now let's try to add a product and I've built the code for that simple form of name and price and you can enter something and save the product in the database. So let's simulate the posting of that form and assert that the data is actually in the database. First, the code for that is really simple. So here's the create blade using blade components by Laravel Breeze. But generally, it's a simple form with route to product store. And then in the controller, we have first create is just the form without any more parameters. And in the store, we create the product with validated data. And that validated data is authorized true and name and price required. And we will get to the validation testing later in the course. And in the routes web, I didn't change anything. I've built that route in the previous lesson, route post to the store method. So pretty simple, right? Now let's write the test for that. So let's create another test, public function, test, create product, successful, something like this. And by the way, not sure if you noticed, I like to leave private methods down below in any class and I create more functions before that private method. So what do we do in that create post? We need to do this post to slash products, which is store method of that resourceful controller with parameters of a new product. And let's define them as array. So name would be product, I don't know, one, two, three, and price would be one, two, three, four, whatever. Then we have a response and we will assert that response is successful. So in case of successful response, what our controller does, it redirects back to the route of products index. So response assert status of 302, which is redirect, and then assert redirect to products. So this is actually covering the feature test of what happens in the browser. But what it doesn't cover is what happens in the database whether the product was actually saved or not. And for that, we will add more assertions in the same test and assertion for the database. One of the assertions is assert database. And here you can see three assertions. Database has the opposite is database missing if it's not saved in the database. And also you can assert database count how many records are for your condition. So we have assert database has in this case, you provide the table, database table name of products, and you need to specify the row, the full row as array. And in our case, it would be the same array that we need to pass. And let's extract that to a variable. PHP Storm will help us with that. Refactor introduce variable product, and we will use that product here as a variable. So we assert that the database has our product. Let's relaunch our tests, PHP artisan test, and we have one failed. Oh, of course, based on the previous test, I'm not acting as admin here, or in fact, any user, I'm redirected to login. So let's fix that, this post acting as this admin, like this, relaunch again, artisan test, now 12 passed, create product successful. But one more thing I would like to test, it's not just a cert database has the product, it may be another product already existing from previous operations. So let's test that it's actually the latest product. Let's get it from the database. Last product equals product model, latest first, like this. Latest is the same as ordered by created at descending. And then let's check if the values are the same. So this assert equals, you already know that function, expected product name, our array is the same as last product name, like this. And also let's check the price, whether the price is the same. Relaunch our test, artisan test, and it's still green although it has more assertions within the same test because we're still testing the same scenario, whether the product was successful. But inside, we need to check a few things. What does it mean to be successful? Redirect in the browser, products exist in the database, and product is exactly the latest one. But the main thing I wanted to show you in this lesson is assert database has after the operation that you saved some data or modified some data in the database.